In our previous episode, we explored Tangier and got our first North Africa experience. Two days later, we set sail and made our way down the Atlantic coast of Morocco in search of new adventures. Here is the coastline that we are going to head down. With all eyes set on the seas and potential dangers, we steered our way, avoiding fish nets and pots, enjoying once again the sea breeze in our faces and the salt taste in our lips. As usual, Ella was fascinated with the waves and birds, but soon enough she got tired and took the first watch break, cuddling up for a snooze on the cockpit seats. Finally, one of my favorite times of the day arrived with another amazing sunset, but also with the fear over boats not fitted with AIS. We had to rely on the radar and on the constant watch. As we approached the fishing town of La Roche before sunrise, we found ourselves surrounded by fishing vessels casting nets. It was an intense moment, but we managed to navigate through safely. As the dawn broke, we edged closer to Rabat. The fishing vessels we had seen through the night were left to our stern and we could now enjoy the sunrise and mid-breeze that would take us all the way to the Burugrek River entrance. After a difficult sandbar crossing, we motored upriver, passing the many fishing boats moored on the riverbanks while closely guided by the marina pilot boat. We had finally arrived and we were ready to enjoy the well-deserved rest. The following days we explored Saleh on the north side of the riverbank and every time we visit the Saleh Medina we felt like we had been transported to another era. We were the only westerners to be seen, people were mostly wearing traditional clothes and the only language spoken was Arabic. Despite the French legacy and our experience in Tangier where we could easily speak with the locals in French, here buying vegetables could be challenging. We were fascinated. And the food? The food was great and made on the spot. Traditional pastries, flatbread, you name it. We took great pleasure discovering the riverbanks together with Ella during the early hours of the morning. Watching the fishermen laying and retrieving their nets across the river inlet while Ella swam in the shallows. 